guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is going to be about the no makeup makeup look tutorial and it's just my version of how to make your skin look like your skin and you look like you're not wearing makeup but actually you are wearing makeup. It's very fresh, um, it's very suitable for every day or just times where you just don't feel like wearing a lot of eyeshadow because I'm not using any eyeshadow, it's just mascara and a blusher and a little bit of foundation and yeah it's very easy to follow and the video is going to come after this so if you like it don't forget to give a thumbs up and leave me some love at the comment box below and hope you guys enjoy this i'm gonna set my face first with urban decay all nighter just to have a more so what you do is you just like oh gosh like so so your face is all one fresh look and thing. I'm gonna use Max face and body because I don't know it gives me the most light coverage but at the same time um it has a it has it's very light feeling. So I'm gonna apply it back on my hand first and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the inner section. So you're gonna feel that it's very light um and you feel like you're not wearing anything and it's not covering anything but just bear in mind it's supposed to feel that way you might um, need to put like more than one application because the best thing about this foundation is that you can actually build on it like the whole point of no makeup makeup is to make your skin look like your own skin which is actually bullshit so for concealer I'm gonna use two kinds so this is how I'm gonna achieve uh, areas where I need a particular concealer to like cover so two concealers that I use on a day-to-day -day basis is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and also the Revlon Colorstay Concealer why is the difference between these two is one this is I usually put it under my under eye because it does not crease even though I have like fine lines in there but it, it doesn't crease for me and also the Revlon is going to give me a little bit more moisture which I am going to put around this area because that's where I'm a little bit dark so uh, sorry that's why what that's where I'm a little bit more uh, dry so that's why you use like different kind of concealers to achieve um, and to help you cover certain areas of your face that has different condition because mine is combination like and so that's why I need two concealers so first I'm going to apply the MAC Pro long wear and I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers. You just need a little bit of this, you don't need a lot um, because it's very pigmented and it does the job well. So I'm applying it under my eye, that's so. So, as you can see, it just instantly just gives me a little bit of coverage there. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to overdo this because um, you know I have bad eye bags, and eye bags are usually like the bunkakness of the eye um, but I, all I can do to help that is just to cover the darkness uh, because for me to cover the eye bag itself is a little bit hard because um, I might can camouflage it in front of the camera like you guys cannot see the eye bags but in real life you can still see it so no matter what you do um, your eye bags will still be there but what you can do is just reduce the the discoloration which is your eye, your dark circles so now with the Revlon concealer um, I'm just gonna put it where I'm usually a little bit dry there so the reason why I'm gonna put concealer there is because I have a little bit of scarring um, again I'm just using my fingers because your fingers was is basically your best friend so now how do we make it like set uh, because some of us like me also I'm very oily so how we're going to make it set, we're going to use a setting powder which is loose setting powder translucent by Laura Mercier. This is an awesome powder because it's very fine and it has a little bit of like color to it. So it's not like it's completely much, um, you know, uh, what do you call this? Completely like white or anything. So what I do is I like to swivel my brush into it. It's very fine. And then I'm just gonna press it where I usually get a little bit oily so this would just help everything to be set um, well you don't have to worry looking too matte by now because I'm gonna finish it off with contour and bronzer for my under eye I'm gonna use a smaller brush 
um, which is like nice to go under the eye and I'm just gonna again pat it under the eye area because this brush just makes more sense to put go under your eye right I'm gonna go with very light contouring uh, because again you just want a little bit of color to your skin so instead of using like a very matte um, matte contour I'm going to use actually a very light contour which is the NARS Laguna and I'm using a MAC angle brush and this is the MAC 186 and you're going to see that I'm going to put it very lightly that nobody will know that it's there that's the whole point you're supposed to look like yourself but better so I'm going to swivel the brush tap off any excess now what I'm going to do is I'm going to suck in your cheeks and you're just gonna follow the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what I mean now you gotta put layer by layer so that you don't now I don't have to suck in my cheek because I know where it is um, but you still if you're a beginner you should like yeah so you need to leave, leave a little bit space don't completely um, you know sampai to your lid because then you're gonna look weird so why Laguna bronzer because um it's actually too light for me but it gives slightly a little bit of you know color to my skin it's actually like one shade like actually like two shade darker so what i'm doing is also i'm putting it in my jawline so the whole point of bronzer because we were because we were so white and so like one color just now that's why you need a bronzer to just make like okay you're human using nice orgasm this is like my go-to blusher and I'm using a real techniques buffing brush so this is the trick so the real techniques buffing brush I used to use it for foundation I mean you can use it for anything there's no rule to it but I like to use this because um, it somehow make my blusher last longer so orgasm has a little bit shimmer um, and she is very shimmery a little bit so what I do is I like to just put my brush in there but how I apply the the blusher is that I actually like dab it on and whack it on into my skin so that they actually jump punk up my skin if that makes sense <laughs> which I don't so where do you put your blusher? you put it at your apples of the cheek where is the apples of the cheek? it's not really here, it's actually like here so it would help to lift up the area so that rather than putting it here, you're gonna look like a clown so you're gonna put it up here where it will lift your skin up so, I like to just pack it on. I like to smile a little bit, like side smile, like this. Um, yep, and then gives me a little bit of color like that. Let's do a little bit of highlight. So highlight will just make your skin a little bit more glowy. And it will help you to have a little bit more like shine to your face. Just a little bit uh, because we don't want to go. So I'm not even contouring my nose. I'm just applying the highlight to the tops of my nose like that. Uh, you're gonna feel like your face is like actually glowing from within. And I'm using, oh sorry, I forgot to mention, I'm using uh, the Balm Mary Luminizer. Uh, my Cyber Color 24 Hours Pen. Uh, this will just give me the most natural brows. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, it's very easy to apply. It's is in a color dark brown. So my eyebrows are a little bit whatever now. So just you know, follow me. I'm very lightly just doing my brows because um, I want it, I don't want it to be so like boom. I need it to like you know look a little bit more natural, very light. That's why it's important to like keep on brushing it. Um, I mean, the whole idea of no makeup makeup is for you to just look a little bit more fresh. If that makes sense. Okay, to even make it a little bit more natural, I'm gonna go with my Sephora mascara gel. This is actually for your lashes, but I use it for my brows because it just works well. So I'm just brushing up my hair so that my hair is actually visible very lightly like so Ta -da! 
So once you have your eyebrows done like this, um, so now it's just a, it's the question of what do you want to do with your eyes. So it's either you're the type that you don't like to wear mascara, it's fine. Um, but I do like to wear mascara and that helps to just open up the eye. So another trick of no makeup makeup is to actually use an eye pencil. Um, and rather than using an eyeliner, you just want to wad, uh, tight line your eyes. So just look down. And then just like um, line the lower, the, your borderline. Like this. See how it's just like a little bit definition there. Um, that's how you don't want to wear eyeliner. I do this every day and I just can not do it. Then I'm using my Shuomura eyelash filler. This will give me some lift. I'm using Maybelline's Hyper... <coughs> I cannot. A Maybelline Hypoco Volume Express. And I'm just applying a very light coat because I still want my lashes to be... Just to be seen from a distance not so much the main focus here just a little bit but this is a good mascara because i don't need to put a lot so it's like boom it's like look at me now and i use this every day because it just is really good for fast application i'm gonna use sephora lipstick and this is sephora rouge as trauma so it's a nice mauve, uh, like almost your lip but not your lip color. Uh -uh. So here's the bit of the close up, very natural um, contour, a little bit of like cheek, um, very neutral lip. You have your eyelashes, you have a little bit of tight line natural brows and ta-da okay guys thanks for watching and i hope this has been useful for you somehow um and especially for you girls who don't really like to use a lot of makeup this is a way how to just minimize products but at the same time look good at it so hopefully this has been helpful for you and if you have any other suggestions feel free to just leave them in the comment box below or follow me on instagram you can ask me there i'm always there somehow and yeah i hope this has been great and thanks for watching love you guys <laughs>